Hello, everybody, and welcome to my stream. Some exciting news in the Rift world. We've got a new expansion. Rift Storm Legion. Uh, just, you know, I was reading around the forums today, then all of a sudden, bam, this pops up on the Rift Patcher. I'm like, what the hell? So I get online and I start doing some digging and of course trying in their infinite wisdom decided to put in their own splash page. So here is the website. Pretty good artwork. I like the you know, the whole Crucia feel. I'm guessing that's gonna be Crucia's human form. And there's Crucia as a dragon. Right there. But the biggest thing is the key features to the new expansion. We'll scroll down and look at them real quick. Ooh, they got a nice effect on the sides with the whole rocks for the air stuff. But key features, let's see what we got here. A vast new world. We got two new continents. And apparently it's going to be triple the size of the existing world. That's freaking huge. And apparently, you know, more epic storylines, blah, 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 and the gateway to the plains. That right there tells me we're going to the actual plains themselves. And then apparently we're getting a new capital city. Make your home. It's called Tempest Bay. It's going to be, a, you know, for both Defiant and Guardians. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the artwork real quick. We'll take a clicky click. Eh, it's not bad looking. I can tell you right now, it's like, there's the, you know, that's that's definitely Guardianus. It's all like plants and trees and shit. And it's definitely going to be the defiant side of town. That's what it looks like. Let's see what this next one is. That's cool and interesting. What the hell is that? I have no clue what that is. <laughs> Let's go back one. Go back another just in case. Ah! Oh, well, that's too soon. We'll get back to that. We'll get back to that. Anyway. So that's the look at the new city and everything. Some artwork there. And now we have... Ten more levels get. Oh, cool. We're going to... They're re raising the level cap to 60. Yay! 60! Hopefully they do it in a good way to where it's not irrelevant. Like, the older content's irrelevant. Hopefully they've got a plan in place to where, you know... We don't get another, you know... Wrath of the Lich King or Burning Crusade where all that time and we spent in the old raids are just going to be useless. We'll actually I hope they, you know, do gear scaling really well. And a new soul for each calling expands the ascended class system. Build the hero you want. And there's the four souls right there. They're not really giving out any details. Now it says, play your way, choose how to level... Apparently they're going to be adding instant adventures everywhere. Going to have new onslaughts because that's, you know, the new thing that we have on Ember Island. And then we've got rifts, events, and more. So I guess we'll f figure out what the and more is later. Alright, Brave the Storm. We've got seven new dungeons coming out. Three raids. Whoa, three raids? I remember when Rift came out, all we had was Greenscale for a long time, and then we had uh, River of Souls come out, so we're going to start out with three raids right off the bat, but seven new dungeons. Oh, and we're going to have a Chronicle. Chronicles are good. They're good for people that are, you know, solo players. It says, join the hunt. New Rift gameplay propels you into battle, increasing challenging planar bosses. So we have a new Rift type coming out. That's something we saw on the PT, PTS, but I really didn't talk about it a whole lot. They had some stuff up there about this expansion, but we kind of lost all that. I could show you on the PTS, but that's all taken out. Um, 
says, fight legions of fantastic creatures, including a colossus that interacts with and ravages the world like you've never seen. Alrighty. Let's take a look at some of this artwork real quick. Holy crap. I'm guessing that's going to be part of the new raid stuff. That looks cool. Got like a skull over here in this area. Alright, let's see what this next piece of artwork looks like. Oh! That's different. It's like an insecty creature. Let's see what the next one is. Oh! We've got. Looks like a new mount. That's like a nom, nom, nom jock that we already have currently. It's like a new catacombs and stuff. Guess it's like a warrior perched on his back. That's pretty cool. Let's see what the next one is. Oh, we won't get to that one again. We'll come back to that one. Apparently, make Talar your own. Dimension customizable for allowed players and guilds to own Sliver of Talara. Apparently, we're getting guild housing and player housing. Something that's been asked for for a long time. It's finally come. Um, take your profession to new heights with Grandmaster Crafting. New crafting levels. Always a good thing. Become the talk of the town and boost your stats with the new stylish capes. Yes, folks. We're getting capes! Something that we've been asking for for a while, and hopefully they'll integrate some stuff for the guild. And, you know, I think that's going to be great. That's going to help guild stand out. And, you know, that's going to be great. And then we've got... It says new puzzles, artifacts, collectibles, achievements, mounts, pets, titles, and much more. Well, of course. New expansion. New crap. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait to see that. Alright, that's the Namjak we saw earlier. I guess that's part of the new mounts they were trying to show us. Alright, and let's see what this next one is. The capes. Here it is, folks. The guild capes. It looks like there's a cape for every single element. We've got... I'm going to guess here, I'm going to go out on limb, that's going to be life, right here, and we have death, right below it, we've got fire, right here, and here's where it gets confusing, what is water, I'm guessing here, or here, I'm guessing one of those two, I'm guessing this one. It's going to be water. Then we've got air. And then we've got earth. Those are pretty self-explanatory. That's earth. And the capes look awesome. Alright, let's see what this next bit we get. Oh, that's back to the original stuff. Alright. So we got all of that. Alright, let's look at the frequently asked questions. Because everybody's going to have these questions about the game. Let's see what we got here. When will Storm Legion be released? The release date has not been announced. Check this website for the latest news and updates. Cool. Will I be able to pre-order the expansion? Yeah, it's basic. What languages will it support at launch? English, French, and German. Kick ass. When will you reveal more about the expansion? We'll be providing many updates between now and launch. Please keep checking the website. Make sure you opt on to receive emails, go to their Facebook, YouTube, blah, blah, blah. Awesome. Can you tell me more about capes? Uh, yes, capes in Rift Storm Legion will run on Shroud technology to flow and hang like real cloth and will feature gorgeous artwork. So they're implementing... A new technology called Shroud. That's kind of cool. Do I need to own Rift to play Storm Legion? Yes, you must own the original game. That's a no-brainer. And then we've got minimum specs for the new stuff. <laughs> Pretty standard stuff there. Alright. And let's see some media. So we got... We've got some more screenshots. Let's take a look right here. Ooh, that's interesting. I'm going to bet that's going to be a dungeon. I'm going to bet that's a dungeon. All right. 
Let's see what we got next. Ooh. Very lifeesque. Probably a new part of a... Uh, I don't know. That could be dungeon or raid. I have no clue. Oh. That, that's interesting. It's supposed to be a screenshot. That does not look like a screenshot. They are up in their game on some of this tech. Jesus, that is awesome looking. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, another piece. I'm going to bet that is definitely a boss right there. Definitely a boss. It's going to be part of a dungeon. I think that's going to be the Golem Factory, because that's something I found on the PTS. That's the name of one of the new dungeons. Yeah, the name's going to be uh, Golem Factory, if I remember correctly, so that kind of makes sense. Let's see what we got next. I think that's more of the Golem Factory. I'm going to think, yeah, that's more of the Golem Factory, maybe. It could be part of the main city, but uh, this is all speculation at this point. Let's see what we got next. Oh, that's fucking beautiful. That is beautiful. It's got like the Aurora Borealis kind of stuff going on up there. It's very F in nature, very, you know, definitely got like a Middle East feel to this, to this screenshot. let see what we got next. And we're back to the beginning, so that's pretty cool. Alright, let's see some concept art. Let's see what we got here. We saw this one already. That one's pretty fucking cool looking. Let's go to our next one. We've already seen that. It looks like it's going to be a new mob. Oh, that's Crucia for those that are keeping score at home. And that looks like some new elementals, elemental, you know, air elemental guys. And I don't know what that is right there. I have no clue, but that looks important right there. Maybe it's a new, like, part of lore. Maybe it's like the avatar of Crucia. I have no clue. But, good God, Crucia looks epic in this picture. And I, and I hate to use the word epic, but it's it's beautiful. It's amazing. Let's see what we got next. Oh! A new Death Spirit. It's like a alien predator ghost thing. That's, that's pretty wicked. Alright, let's see what we got next. That's just the mount that we saw earlier. Maybe it's also a mob. I have no clue. And then there's another mob. I don't know. That looks more like a warship. In a way. It's like a, you know. It's like a ship. Like a Storm Legion ship. Let's see what we got next. Oh, and we're back to the beginning. So we've made our way through all the concept art. Let's see what, ooh, we got a wallpaper here. Let's see what this wallpaper looks like. Oh, that's pretty neat. That is pretty damn neat. I might actually have to change my background to this. That is awesome. And there's the infinity gate that they were talking about. But that's, we'll, we'll see that in a minute. Um, let's go ahead and close this out. Alright, let's see here. Alright guys, I guess this will be the moment of truth. We'll watch the trailer real quick and we'll get some impressions about the trailer. And we'll we'll be back after this, so let's watch the trailer. Within. 
Whoa. That's all I have to say about that. That was pretty awesome. I must say, that's pretty damn awesome. Alright, well, that was for the trailer portion of the, you know, broadcast. Let's take a look at the article that was on GameSpot that kind of, like, got all this started. Um, I'm not really going to sit here and read the whole thing out to you guys. I'm just going to, you know, highlight some of the stuff that they were um, talking about here. Um, apparently they they were talking to Scott Harshman. And basically, they're talking about, you know, how everything's going to be, you know, huge so far. It says, of the two continents that we're getting, it says, Duskin is the most, is the more fearsome. It's a dark place where death figures prominently in the world and the story. The themes are closer to horror than anything Riff has explored in the past. This is... Uh, this, as it should be, is there that you follow the story of Regulus, the dragon god that hails from the plane of death. The other continent, Ravain, isn't so obviously terrifying, though it's no less vital. It's on this continent, in the Eternal City, that Talar civilization developed the warring factions that reside there aren't necessarily always civilized. civilized. Sorry about that. So, yeah, uh, the instant adventures, they're talking about that, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it says, Riff will, Riff will more than triple in size, basically. That's cool. Apparently, they've also, Storm Legion has also brought with a new city to call home, the Tempest Bay. It's a bastion for both Guardians and the Defiant. Basically, we're going to have a brand new soul for each calling. Apparently Harshman didn't want to talk about it. Apparently we're going to be getting some new, like, play command, play, uh, play mechanics for, like, the new souls. That's what they were talking about. Yeah, so we're going to get some more synergy. Um, yeah, they're talking about the new level 6... Uh, getting players level 60, new dungeons, new raids, a new chronicle, and apparently there's a, there's going to be a, pri the primary narrative, you know, involves Crucia, and, yeah, and there's some more mysteries surrounding the infinite, infinity gate, and, Yep, zone events, they're talking about that. They're going to be showing off some of that stuff at um, E3, which is going to be next week. If you're watching it today, which is doo -doo -doo -doo, Thursday, May 31st. So next week we got more details coming out of E3. And it says Riftstorm Legion is about more, more, and even more. Apparently, other additions related to the Rift social aspect and to its battles, capes are coming, for instance, along with player areas called Dimensions that function somewhat like housing and other MMOs. Um, let's say you rest at a Talarn Inn that overlooked a shimmering waterfall. How great would it be to claim the inn for you and your guildmates? Or well, if there was a parallel universe where you could decorate it and furnish your inn just the way you wanted... That is precisely what Dimensions will offer, a way to basically own our own corner. And apparently we're going to get more mounts, more trade skills, more pets. Apparently Tron intends to give players what they wanted in, a, in an expansion and then some. So, you know, apparently we're going to get more stuff coming up, um, you know. Apparently he says expect to lose more sleep in the fall of 2012. So maybe that's a hint. It's coming out in the fall. Like, we'll see it this fall. Definitely awesome. Oh, Lord. Uh, I'm excited. I mean, you know, we've got Guild Wars 2 coming out, but this this is exciting. It's exciting, guys. Um, 
if you guys want to ask any questions or anything like that, you can message me on Facebook or Twitter. Um, my Twitter is, you know, twitter.com slash heelshot. You can ask me questions there. Uh, you can ask me questions on my Facebook. It's uh, facebook.com forward slash heelshot. And maybe the next time I do a little broadcast, we'll get some more people to interact. But that's just what we have so far. Um, thank you for watching, and you can get back to doing whatever you were doing. Thanks for your time, guys. Bye.